Today I'm going to be making plum pie. Recently my family and I watched Enola Holmes and my son was fascinated with the mention that Sherlock Holmes' favorite dessert was plum pie. He'd never tried it, so here we are. <laughs> I'm making a plum pie. So I'm working with one and three quarters pounds of plums and I'm going to thinly slice them. And you'll want to taste your plums to see how sweet or tart they are and adjust the sugar in this recipe to suit your preference. I'm just going to continue thinly slicing all of my plums. Okay, so I have all of my plums sliced thinly. So now I'm going to create this pie filling. I'm going to start with a third cup of sugar. You can adjust this if your plums are tart. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and give that a mix. And actually, before I forget, I'm also going to be adding a quarter teaspoon or a pinch of salt. Now, give it a good mix, and that's going to be the filling. Today I'm going to be making a crumb topping for this pie. I'm starting off with three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, and I'm going to add four tablespoons of cold butter and a pinch of salt to this. If you're using salted butter, just skip the salt. I'm using unsalted today. And you can use a dough cutter to mix this in. I already cut mine into pieces. You could also just crumble this with your hands or two butter knives. Basically, you're going to combine well. My crumb topping mixture is ready, so now it's time to put the pie together. I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and I will be using a 9-inch deep dish pie crust. I actually purchased this from the store. I thawed it and rolled it out again to fit into my baking dish. So what I'm going to do is just... To an unbaked pie shell, I'm going to add my filling. Now I'm going to add the crumb topping. Now that my pie is ready, I'm going to place it on a baking sheet and bake this for about 55 minutes in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And just to prevent any of your pie edges from burning, you can cover it with aluminum foil. Once your pie is done, you'll want to remove it from the oven and let it set and cool for at least one hour. My pie is completely cooled, and now it's time to serve. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!